turn now to more on what we know about the shooter at Marmatin. Investigators are searching his home for evidence and weapons. He'd, he'd been on the FBI's radar for possible links to terrorism. And ABC's chief investigative correspondent Brian Ross is in New York with a look into his past. And Brian, you have a revealing interview with his ex-wife. That's right, and good morning, George. Long before the attack, Omar Mateen was known to people close to him as unhinged, homophobic, and violent. This was a sick person that was really confused and went crazy. This is Omar Mateen's ex-wife, Satora Youssefi, who told ABC News he regularly beat her and was a man full of hatred buried deep. His body would just totally opposite, you know, angered and emotional and violent. And that later evolved to abuse to me. As the FBI sought clues as to what triggered the attack on the Orlando nightclub, his ex-wife said he could not stand people who were gay. He, he would express his anger towards a certain um, culture, homosexuality. He, there were definitely moments that he would express his intolerance to homosexuals. A former co-worker says Mateen was very open about his dislike of gays. He also had a lot of hatred for people, um, black people, women, Hispanics, nor did he like um, gay or lesbian people. Mateen was an American citizen born in New York who attended high school in Stewart, Florida. He worked as a security guard for the last nine years, posting this picture of himself wearing an NYPD t-shirt. He really loved the police department. He worked as a as a correctional officer or a guard at the Juvenile Delinquent Center. While his ex-wife says she knew of no connection to extremism, officials say Mateen declared his allegiance to ISIS in a 911 call as he was holding hostages at the nightclub. I think it's very compelling evidence that this is a ISIS-related terrorist attack in the United States. The FBI had twice investigated Mateen for possible ties to terrorism in 2013 and 2014, interviewing him three times, but concluded he was not a threat. We determined that contact was minimal and did not constitute a substantive relationship or a threat at that time. Mateen remarried a few years ago and had a three-year-old son with his second wife when he carried out his attack. Satora says she was lucky to escape alive from her marriage to Mateen. I'm blessed to have the family that I do because they saved me from, from death. Because the FBI investigation into Mateen found no evidence of any ties to terrorism, there were no criminal charges, he was able legally to buy the two guns he used in the attack, an assault rifle and a Glock pistol purchased just last week, Amy. So many people just so puzzled by all of this, Brian. Thank you.